This video was recorded several days after the larva of the cherry leaf roller had emerged from an egg deposited by the adult moth on the underside of a cherry leaf. The tiny larva began its life by feeding just under the surface of the leaf, creating a long serpentine mine. The mine begins where the egg was laid, then extends along the edge of the leaf, terminating in a feeding chamber the larva creates by folding over the edge of the leaf. To create the video that follows, the tiny larva was removed from its feeding chamber and placed on a new leaf. After briefly exploring the leaf, the larva concentrates its activity on the lower midrib. Starting near the tip of the leaf, the larva advances slowly, preparing the leaf for rolling by intermittently biting into the midrib and crisscrossing it with silk. When it nears the base of the midrib, it bites more deeply, lacerating the water conducting vessels and causing the leaf to slowly wilt. So weakened, the leaf will be easier for the caterpillar to roll. The caterpillar draws the leaf into a cylinder by securing the strand of silk between the surface of the leaf and the midrib. The silk is viscoelastic and each strand is stretched slightly before it's tacked down. Subsequent contraction of a strand advances the roll just a few thousandths of an inch and many thousands of strands are required to complete the roll. The caterpillar pauses occasionally and appears to inspect the progress of its efforts, then continues to spin. Another inspection, and in this case, the roll has gone off to the side, and when the caterpillar begins to spin again, it corrects by attaching silk to a point on the leaf, which brings the upper midrib in line with the lower. While the force generated by a single strand is minuscule, the collective force generated by multiple strands allows the caterpillar to manipulate an object many times its size and mass. In one study, it was demonstrated that by pulling in unison, the thousands of silk strands in a column of silk spun by the caterpillar were capable of generating a force 4,000 times greater than the force would be generated for the caterpillar to pull with its weight alone. Some two and a half hours after the caterpillar began to roll the leaf, all that remains is to seal the ends and make some final adjustments. Sequestered inside the roll, the caterpillar will feed in security and have sufficient food to complete its life cycle. 